right have and have not fans hope everyone's doing well uh this has been blowing up my inbox for the first time in months i've actually gone through the have and have not facebook page messages because i have not been through that and god knows when facebook sent me notifications like uh yeah you can't get any more inbox messages on your page until you look at the ones that you haven't i'm like wait that's a thing now so <laughs> a lot of people have been bringing it to my attention about a certain source that has been stating that the show is officially canceled as in it's confirmed that the show will not be renewed for season nine so let me just say up front there's some things i found out from sources that i cannot tell you because i found out a couple days ago that there are indeed certain people who watch my channel so if i say certain things i'm like holy crap so i'm not trying to let me just say this ain't clickbait i ain't i ain't trying to bullshit you that that's what i can say so like the video or dislike it honestly i don't care because eh. but just know i'm telling you the truth of what i've been told uh go ahead and like the video hit subscribe click the bell notification icon and select all that way you don't miss out when i post new content to the channel and follow me on social media links are in the description so okay so from a source called premiere date um it's a like blog website and it has a youtube channel it's pretty well known for doing popular videos where it breaks down the real life couple relationship families of cast members from various uh television shows dramas they put out a video on December on yesterday uh the haves and the have not season nine canceled as tyler perry's deal with own ends it's about a minute long and the video doesn't really tell us anything we don't know here's the thing it's based on the new york post article interview that angela robinson aka veronica harrington who remember has confirmed we will be doing an interview sometime in the near future yay but it won't be happening towards until like the se season finale whether or not it's the series finale i don't know what season finale so yeah veronica's in the book so be on the lookout for that i will let you know but um let me just say this i don't believe it i even looked on uh other websites what, what's it called uh tv series finale.com they've been saying that even though the season series hasn't been canceled it looks like tyler perry's coming to the drama is coming to an end in 2021 without a ninth season all of this is stemming from the one interview from angela and then even on the premiere date website it says owns the haves and the have nots won't get renewed for season nine current show status the haves and the have not season nine canceled let me put it this way. I'm going to just say this because I feel like I've said this several times and this will probably be the last time I do a video on this until, until there's been words from either Own or Tyler Perry himself. My biggest question for everyone is why would Own publicly announce and advertise Greenleaf and If Loving You Is Wrong season five? Both of the shows had season five. Why would both of those shows get advertised as the final season? But the haves and the have nots, the number one scripted show on the network since it debuted. Why would that not be advertised as the final season? Like for the show that has been number one since it began, that I feel like if it was advertised as the final season, ratings would have just been blowing up more than they have been you know, since it started, why would they not announce it as the final season? Now, for the person who's watching this video, who I know who you are, and I said that I wasn't going to say anything from our conversation, which I'm not, all I'm saying is this, a certain, and no, it was not Tyler Perry, a certain individual told me that they could not comment on whether or not the haves and the have not season eight is the final season, but... I stated my case as to why I don't believe it's the final season, but 
basically what it boils down to this conversation was a no comment kind of answer. But I swear to you, I did talk with somebody who's pretty high up and they could neither confirm nor deny that season eight was the final season. And once again, this is not to discredit Angela, but I'm feeling like unless the own network or Tyler Perry himself states that season eight is the final season, I'm not going to believe it's the final season. Now, don't get me wrong. If I, I, we don't know how many episodes, like I said, pl- countless times, there's been proof that the last 10 episodes of season seven were supposed to be the final 10 episodes for the series, but that allegedly got moved to the back half of season eight. So these 10 episodes we're getting now, I don't know if they're just going to end it at 10. Will they just end it at 10? And then we'll just have the, I can see it now. Season eight being 10 episodes. And then the last 10 episodes that never aired is like, and now the lost episodes of the haves and the have nots. But either that or season eight is really 20 episodes, guys. I don't know. Um, This source is just going off that one article. So I don't think we should believe it. Again, it could be absolutely right, but I'm sticking to my guns here. Until the own network themselves or Tyler Perry announces it's the final season, I'm not going to believe it. So that's all I have to say on this. So nobody needs to send me this anymore unless there's some new information that comes out. But just know that if the show is ending at season eight, it had a decent run, high and low points alike, but there we go. That's all I really have to say. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon.